this alternative election prediction, I will be doing what if Richard M. Nixon did 2% better in the 1960 election and his bid to run for the presidency. So there were a lot of things messed up in this election. There was a third party candidate who actually won the state uh, and quite a lot of faithless electors. Um, there were claims of voter fraud that some people, they voted falsely for Kennedy. And there were a lot of those things. I'm going to ignore all of these, but let's just do it state by state. What if Nixon did 2% better in this election? We're going to do it state by state. So start with the state of Washington. Nixon would have won the state by 2.4 points. And in this case, he will win by 4.4 points. My margins are in the description down below. So, um, so for you to understand my margins here. So for next state, the state of Oregon, 5.2 becomes 7.2, which is still a likely margin. Now the first change will be in the state of California, in which Nixon won by 0.55 points. Kennedy had a lead early on, but then after all the votes were counted, Nixon had a narrow edge. In this case, though, he would winning he would be winning by a lead margin because he, in this scenario, would have won by more than two points. Now going to the state of Alaska. That will be also a change from tilt to lane as he would won the state by three and three point nine points. Going to the state of Hawaii, this will be our first flip of this map. Kennedy won the state by point zero six six two points. And with if this state flipped towards Richard Nixon and one of and the state of Illinois, I believe he could have won the presidency. So but anyways the state would have won, would have went for Richard Nixon in this scenario by a tilt margin, meaning by under two percentage points. To the state of Nevada here, Nix, um, Caddy was still won the state by a tilt margin, just point three points, while the closest states in this alternative prediction. Going to Arizona, Nixon would have still won the state comfortably by thirteen and and two percent, thirteen point two percentage points, which makes for almost a safe margin but it is a likely margin in this scenario going to idaho and utah both of these states if nixon did two percent better he would still want to stay by likely margins you can see a lot of these rural states they were not safe for richard nixon they were likely not exactly safe wyoming interestingly only went to nixon by 10.0 percentage points in this alternative he would have wanted to stay by 12 not even cracking that safe margin Montana here also still a lean margin with him winning the state by four and a half points in this alternative prediction. In the state of North Dakota, Nixon would still want to stay by likely not safe, winning it by 13 percentage points. Going to the state of South Dakota here, it is also it will remain in the safe column. In fact, because of math, any state that Nixon won by a safe margin would retain as safe for him. Now, going to Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma using the same logic, he will win all those states by safe margins, giving him right now a 102 electoral votes to John F. Kennedy's just three electoral votes, a pretty significant lead. In the state of Colorado, Nixon would still won the state by a likely margin, given that he won the state by 9.7 points, and his alternative would have voted for him by just under 12 points. Going to New Mexico, this is another flip for Nixon. If he did 2% better, and of course this is a what-if scenario, he would have also won the state of New Mexico by a total margin. This is one of those, um, this is the state of Texas, which is quite interesting because T Kennedy won the state by exactly 2.00 points. So it, it sort of needs to be left out as a toss-up. If we go to Wikipedia here, it just doesn't tell us a lot, all right? It still says it is. It just says it's 2.00 percentage points. So, yeah. When we calculate everything, the state just needs to be left as a toss-up. Not exactly for either political party. Now, going to the state of Louisiana. Kennedy still would have won the state, of course, massively. He won the state by over 20 points here. So, yeah. The state of Louisiana is safe for... John F. Kennedy. The state of Arkansas as well still retains as likely as he won the state by 7.1 points. A two-point reduction still would have given Kennedy a 5.1 point advantage. Let's close the tab here. 
Mississippi would still went for Bird. Nixon would still been third place. But regardless, yeah, Henry F. Bird gets his first state here, the state of Mississippi, by a margin. Going to state of Alabama, Alabama still would have voted for Kennedy by a likely margin. In te- Tennessee, of course, Nixon was still one state, and he we, he would have won it by a likely margin as a 7.1 point lead plus a two point another two point advantage would have given Nixon a 9.1 percent lead over John F. Kennedy. The state of Florida would have also vet, would have voted for Nixon by a likely margin, given that in this scenario he would have done two percent better. Going to the state of Georgia, Kennedy still would have won by a pretty decent margin of 23.1%. So it's still a safe margin there. But for the state of South Carolina, it will be much closer. Kennedy won the state by 2.5 points. And in this scenario, he'll, he would have only won the state by half a percentage point. Going to the state of North Carolina, Kennedy would have won the state still by a lead margin as it will still be above 2%. Now going to Kentucky, the state of Kentucky voted for Nixon by 7.2%, so that would still remain as likely for Richard Nixon. As well as that, the state of Indiana and the state of Ohio here, but both of these states would still want for Nixon by a likely margin. I believe this is the last time in which Ohio voted for the wrong winner of the presidency. So yeah, New, um, Ohio breaks his tradition of voting for the correct winner in every single presidential election. This is the last time it has been wrong since 2016, 2020. It was wrong, but before then, 2016 to, I think, 1960, Ohio has always been right for voting for the correct president. But this was the last time, if you don't count 2020, the state was wrong in voting for its president. The state of Missouri would have voted for Kennedy by zero, um, 50, by uh, voted for Nixon by a margin of one and a half percentage points. So yeah, the state would have actually voted f- for Ke- uh, for Nixon, and a huge win for Nixon here. Ke- Kennedy only won the state of Illinois by one zero point two percentage points, and if he did, if Nixon did two percent better, he will f- have also carried the state of Illinois, though by just under two percentage points. Iowa would have been safe for Richard Nixon. You can see that Nixon has already been closing on to the presidency. And with the state of Minnesota voting for Kennedy by one and a half percentage points, Nixon would have also carried the state. He's now just 20 electoral votes from the presidency, and he will get another 12 electoral votes just from the state of Wisconsin. He would have won the state, I believe, by a likely margin. Going to Michigan and Pennsylvania here. Michigan would have voted for Kennedy by a margin of 0.01 percentage points. Yup, you heard that correct, 0.01 percentage points. In fact, Hawaii was decided by 0.06 percentage points in the actual election. So, Kennedy would have nearly scooped by in the state of Michigan. The state of Pennsylvania would have still voted for Kennedy, though by just 0.3 percent. Now we have the East Coast, in which Nixon's Kennedy is sure to get a... a good amount of electoral votes there, but Nixon is just 16 electoral votes away from the presidency. The state of Maryland and the state of West Virginia, both of these states, would have still voted, I believe, for John F. Kennedy, though the state of West Virginia would have been lead, but Maryland would have retained as likely. So yeah, we, we can next go to the state of Virginia. Virginia voted for Nixon by 5.5 percentage points, so Nixon was still at the state by a likely margin. And right now, Nixon is just 4 electoral votes away from the presidency. And he'll get some more electoral votes in the New England area. And next, the state of Delaware. Delaware would have voted for... Can, um, would have would have voted for Nixon as he only won the state by 1.6 points, Kennedy did. But in this scenario, Nixon would have won the state, which gives Nixon, I believe, um, still one electoral vote less than the presidency. Because right now, he, if, Kennedy could, if Kennedy wins all the remaining state... Wait. 
No, Nixon would have already won the presidency because by that at that time there were 537 electoral votes. Nixon would have gotten the majority at this point, and Delaware would have been the tipping point state if you're if the election if the states were called in this way. The new state of New Jersey, adding on to that good news there, would have went for Nixon as well. When I mean by good news, it's the, for the Nixon campaign. The state of New York and Connecticut here. New York would have actually been a lean state instead of a likely state, but Connecticut, I believe, would still have retained as a likely state for um, for Kennedy, oh, but only by five and a half percentage points. Massachusetts and Rhode Island, however, would have retained as safe for for John F. Kennedy. Going to the final states, Maine, because at that time there were not the split districts in Maine, he would have carried by safe margin. So as we want, well, for a state in New Hampshire, it would be a likely state, and there will be a few faithless electors, I believe, in Alabama and one in Oklahoma. But Nixon would have won the presidency nonetheless. If you just skip by to see the results here, t- Texas is left blank because it voted for Kennedy by exactly 2.00 percentage points, and if Nixon did 2% better, he would have basically tied Kennedy in the state of Texas. I'm not sure exactly if you counted vote by vote what the results would have been, but yeah, this is going to be the the results here. So, takeaway is that Nixon would have flipped a lot of states with a 2% increase in the votes. He would have flipped all the tilt Republican states, Hawaii, New Mexico, Missouri, Illinois, Minnesota, New Jersey, and Delaware. So that's quite a lot of states, not counting the state of Texas, in which he would have exactly tied John F. Kennedy. Thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to give us a like, a subscription, and watch more of my content on your screen right now about my usual election predictions videos. This is my first alternative prediction, so tell me if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you guys in my next video, and bye.